Hey, and welcome back to Event Tech Live Las Vegas. Uh, we are joined by none other than industry expert. It's Julius Solaris from Bold Push. Hey, hey Julius. what's up? Thank you for having me. Uh, no worries, our pleasure. So, um, so it's it's an interesting an interesting. Uh, it's it's our, my first ETR Vegas. I know it's your second because you're local. Uh, very different to me. Thank you. Um, but um, we just we're trying to get a sense um, from our industry friends of what the next 12 to 18 months are going to look like and what 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 you see as you know you can use those two letters if you really need to but what other things um, are you know what's what's happening in those 12 to 18 months in your views put your name on it what do you think ah, that's a loaded question rich it right? it's a uh, it's an interesting one because i don't think we've ever seen whatever we saw in the past four years and you know for me like you know doing analysis and looking at the uh, how the industry performs for the past almost 20 years now yeah it's it's something unprecedented right starting from covid and then the comeback and then the pendulum swinging towards in person dramatically uh, so we expected the pendulum swinging back in 2022 but then 2023 and now 2024 keeps on going and going and so i feel that probably this is the year where we peaked and things are going to start to adjust a little bit more. Um, I think the correction that we saw in we're in a technology show, and so especially for virtual event platforms and sort of the aftermath of the pandemic and the demise of most of the platforms that essentially are either being acquired for a fraction, yeah. a fraction, I guess it's a euphemism here in terms of, uh, you know, the scale of their um, or the valuation and how they were acquired. But on the other end, you see a lot of uh, technology companies that are strongly invested in person, growing pretty dramatically. Also very excited about the role of marketing teams and CMOs coming to the industry and bringing in a fresh set of exciting opportunities, but also challenges because they come from a completely different perspective from the traditional meeting and events planners. Um, and so, yeah, very exciting 12 months ago. Lots going on. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, um, Dali has already been on and talked to us about the, the you know, the MarTech stuff and how, how important marketing is from, th from that perspective. But, yeah, I, th I think you're right. That, so, so, essentially, you're saying that the, the pendulum swung to in-person and it, you think it might go back to hybrid and virtual a little bit more? Probably um, there will be time to reinvent these tools. Hybrid is probably the less, um, you know, the, the, the less uh, growing aspect right now because it, because of the cost involved with it, and uh, not every audience is made for hybrid events, uh, so it really depends on the vertical. But you know, I will feel I feel that the game is not over for virtual experiences. Technology is not going anywhere. These uh, there's platforms working tirelessly or creating that sense of presence. Uh, when you're not there for virtual experiences. Therefore, we'll see what happens. I don't have an answer to that, but I'm very curious about what's gonna happen. Definitely the in-person bubble uh, is going to not burst, but a lot of events are gonna start feeling the pressure. A lot of the excitement of people are launching new events, more events. There's only so many events we can attend in person. So at some stage, we're gonna reach capacity. And there's some lots of lots of great tips in your your recent post about 17 of the best things to look out for and best do. And I think I think that what you're what you're saying um, here, as well as in that, is, is is about how it's about it's about the the viewer now, isn't it? It's about and you know people's time is much more important than than it may have been 10 years ago when ETL started or, or something like that. There there are a lot more um, uh, you know insistent that they get what they want out of something. And whether that be engagement or um, you know any of these things along the line, it, it's it's a it's much more about individuals. Whether that be a sponsor or a, a delegate or anything, it, it, it's it's more tricky for event organisers now. Do you agree? Um, yes, I mean it is. But realistically, technology has made a lot of progress in the past four or five years. The amount of data you're able to capture right now, it's incredible. You literally have so many opportunities to deliver on the ROI reporting piece. Therefore, um, you know, yes, more challenging, more pressure, high cost, especially being the biggest challenge right now. But at the same time, more opportunity 
and big changes as well. I mean, we're not in 2019 anymore. Despite we're back to those levels, things have changed forever. And, you know, stuff like content, for example, at events and how we consume content at events, I think has dramatically changed forever. And so the priority of connection, networking with people, then catching up with content whenever it's convenient to me, probably this is the single biggest shift that we're seeing at events. Because honestly, content is available everywhere and anywhere. I can listen to a speaker, three hour podcast, whatever, and get his view or her view on the world. I don't need to come to an event to listen to them. But there's other things I can do with those speakers. There are just, there's other type of sessions, or I can simply spend my time connecting with people and then catch up on demand after the event is done. We need to make that, that shift to expand and extend the revenue model for the events business. Mm, really interesting. It leads me nicely to, to what, what's got you here then. Um, you know, you can, you can watch stuff and you can find out some of the great content that we've got going on here at ETL, but what's, what's dragged you your 20 minutes down the road? Again, to, to I mean, how many opportunities do you have to have all the people in event technology, which is where I started, it's my passion. So how many opportunities do I have to meet all that, those relevant people in one room? That's an incredible opportunity and therefore one I cannot miss if I'm interested um, in event tech and if I have clients and people I support in event technology. Therefore, fantastic, great, especially, you know, if you look at the an industry trend here as well, some bigger shows are really lacking the presence of technology providers. So the biggest industry shows other than a couple our lack, I, I see less and less exhibitors from the tech's perspective. So I don't want the tech people listening to this make the mistake that they can do business online because it's all predictable and scalable and whatever. And then you miss the fact you're in the events industry and you need to meet people in person. And this is what matters for us. So what's the so what's the one piece of advice we can we can uh, we can give our audience watching at home before I let you go? What's the, what's the one piece of advice you're going to give them um, to, to to embrace? One piece of advice. Oh my God, I got so much every day. Uh, first off, like I'll see you on LinkedIn, so you got a lot of pieces of advice. That's where I spend my time these days. Um, but yeah, I would say understand understand that things have changed today understand that people want to go to events to connect first understand that like short attention spans are a thing we, we can't spend like an hour especially if you're working with millennials younger generations can't sit them in a room for like an hour listening to someone speak we're not in 1974 therefore you know be up to date with what's happening do not discard virtual events 50 percent of event planners still plan virtual events today so know that this is not going anywhere. Don't make the same mistake so that, you know, that we did before COVID. So when a lot of people were caught off guard, do not let it go. Always keep an eye on technology because this is where innovation is starting. Absolutely, I think the biggest problem is um, what's right today and what was right yesterday probably won't be tomorrow or the next day. So it's a tricky That's a tricky great time. quote. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Um, great, excellent. Julius, thanks so much. Thanks for coming to talk Thank to us. Thank you for having me. And uh, um, yeah, check him out on LinkedIn. Congratulations, everybody. Thanks so much. Appreciate awesome. It. Great. Appreciate your time. Of course. Yeah.